Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're doing the last video for our budget FTP or free to play build for the Adoramus Archbishop. This is technically a version one, but we're running two, I'm um, sorry, one OCP on this build. Um, basically, it's the uh, um, King Schmidt's, uh, or, so, or sorry, the Guardian Helm, the combos with the King Schmidt set. And. Um, yeah, it actually gives you a lot of bonuses when you're having the full set on here. But first, the uh, circular time for the Archbishop. M attack plus 15 per 2 refines. VCT minus 3% per 3 refines at Omnium. 20% add ramus damage per 3 refines at plus 9, that's 60%. 7% holy property magic damage every 4 refines, so that's 14%. And we're not even going to talk about the plus 11 one just because we have it at plus 9. Now, Temporal Jewel Int, level 1, heal effectiveness plus 1% per 2 refines, M attack plus 2 per 2 refines, and 1% for 5 refines. And still, the uh, Mutant Heart Hunter Scenario card for uh, plus 10% holy property magic damage, and M attack plus 10. Um, obviously, it needs to be plus 9 just to get the full bonus. Next, the Guardian Helm, immune to curse, increased physical magic damage against all sizes, plus 10%. Um, when comboed with the uh, suit, you get all stats plus 10, um, plus 7%, uh, more minus 7% damage from players, immune to frozen. When comboed with the Mantu, an additional 10, all stats plus 10, reduce damage from players 6%. And um, the Insignia, we're running the in Insignia here, so all stats plus 5, M attack plus 10%, and reduce damage from players minus 3%. Now, Moving on to the suit, um, obviously indestructible, 10% more damage to medium and large size monsters, plus 7 you get 10% more damage to fire and shadow property monsters, plus 9 you get um, minus 15% damage from dragon and formless monsters, and at plus 11 you get 10% um, less damage from medium and large size monsters. Now when it's combo with the Mantu, you get um, plus 5% HP and SP, and if both of them are plus 11 or plus 22 in total, um, reduce ACD by 15%. Now we've got some uh, stat enchants here, I don't really care about that, but Sweet Nightmare card, cast cancellation, you know, that way your cast won't get cancelled, and M attack plus 20, always, always a good armor card. Next we have the Matthew, King Shmeets Matthew, uh, 2%. Uh, fire and shadow property damage per three refines uh, plus seven you get five percent reduction from uh, dragon and formless and plus eleven you get fifteen percent more damage to dragon and formless monsters now we've got enchants here spell three spell three and spell four just for the vct reduction and the additional m attack and we have the yellow pataya card here for the plus three percent holy property magic damage we don't really run the Boiling Mark card here because we don't have the money for a slot of Temporal Boots, but, um, you know, would be nice, but, you know, can't really play with it. Um, next, we have the Int Insignia. M attack plus 10%. When combo with the um, Suit and Mantu, you get 25 M attack, 8% VCT reduction. I wish I had a better one here, but then fail three, but. You know, it's fine, but we need Divine Power just to get the all property magic damage plus 15% combo with the Runaway Magic. And we have the Headless Mule card here for additional 20% Holy and Water property magic damage. Now, we're running the Temporal Dex Boots on this just because we need that 0 0.5 second FCT reduction um, with the, you know, at least getting 120, um, 120 Dex. And that's important just for Adiramus, which has a half second FCT. Uh, we have the uh, spell four, or yeah, um, spell four, I'm sorry, spell five on here 10% VCT reduction, additional M attack, and runaway magic, so that when it triggers, you get that huge boost on int for uh, the additional damage. And um, just a generic one Illusion Battleship R, spell five, you know, additional VCT and M attack. And um, we are still running the Headless Mule card for 20% Holy and Water Property Magic Damage. And finally, the weapon. 
would be happier if we had better enchant, but you know, add a rare staff, M attack plus 20, 240, indestructible, holy property damage plus 5%, and 4 M attack per upgrade level. At uh, plus 9, you get 30% Adoramus damage. At plus 11, you get minus 25% physical and magic damage from all sizes. And like I said, we have the shit enchant here, FS4. Don't really care about that, but we are running true Margareta card. I'm sorry, true Margareta Sorin card. 20% Adoramus damage, 20% more if you're at level 4 weapon. And uh, at plus 10, you get additional 20%. So with two, that's 120% Adoramus damage. Now let's do a test. And um, I feel this might fare better than version three, just because of the formless and fire um, bonuses from the uh, King Schmidt set. All right, here are the eggs. We're gonna do the neutral egg. Not bad. Not bad. We are actually getting up to a 750k. Wow. That's pretty good. Just because of the formless damage bonuses. Wow. Next on the fire egg, now we're probably going to see most of these bonuses. Wow. 830k. That is, that is pretty good. 4 million. Oh, 1.6. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right, there you have it. Definitely a lot more effective than the um, version 3, maybe even version 1. Um, I think really, especially with the comparison, um, if you don't have the budget to make the King Schmidt set or do the hunting or whatnot, and the in chance um i'd go with the gray set but um you know just just for the, the reason why it shows that it's very effective on the eggs just because it's got fire property bonuses and formless damage bonuses that's why the damage for the king schmidt stuff is a little bit inflated on the eggs um but in an all-around sort of situation, the gray set would probably be the best just because of the additional Adoramus bonuses plus the um, all-property magic damage that, um, you know, the armor, the Mantu, the boots, and the ring um, actually have. So I hope this, you enjoyed this video. I hope this gives you some idea of how to run it with the King Schmidt stuff. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time.